Hey guys, Thomas D. Jimmy here, and today I will be starting a tutorial on how to make your own horror game using Unity. We will go through every step, including the main menu, the gameplay, and the ending. Uh, so yeah, we'll go through codes, uh, coding the whole thing, building the terrain, and yeah, all of that. So I'm, right now I'm using the version 5.3.4 F1 of Unity, uh, that's the latest one right now, and we will be updating as, as the tutorial goes on, so I have no project, so let's make a new project, and I will call mine the unexpected because I want to rebuild it, and save it in my documents for example, yep. Yeah. Okay, now I am using Unity Pro, um, the full version, however, you can still use the free version, there will be no differences, uh, nothing should stop you from using the free version. And sorry about me, I'm a bit ill. <laughs> okay, so first of all, let's go Game Object, no, Assets, Import Package, and Characters. Okay, now, choose the things you want to have, I will leave all of this including the first person and I will I don't need the third person character so I will untick that uh, leave the cross platform leave scripts <coughs> and leave the sprites physical materials leave basically everything and uncheck basically if you want a third person then check that and uncheck the first person it's it's up to you really so import Okay, that's imported, and now I will import another package, which is the environment. <laughs> and again, uncheck what you don't need. Okay, so editor, standard assets, environment, we've got it here. <coughs> now we've got an error, speed tree needs to be regenerated. We're not going to use the speed tree anyway, so that doesn't matter. And now I will import my own assets from the asset store. Am I logged in? Yes, I am. Very good. Now I'll be using all the free assets, so you'll be able to get them as well. Okay, so after you've finally done everything, you can go back to your scene and uh, we will start making the <coughs> main menu. So, to move around, right click and hold to spin. Um, if you press the scroll wheel, then you can move around in this, like, in a 2D direction, basically. Left, right, up and down. Right click is like a 3D view. And left click is just to select. So, um, <coughs> we will make game object. 3D object terrain, and there's a terrain. It's pretty big. It's whoa! It's really big. However, we will use only a little bit of it because this is going to be a main menu. So if we can rename a terrain, and now we're going to press on it, and on the right side over here, you can see all the tools for the terrain. So first thing we're going to do is press this paint texture and add the main texture that will be on it. So edit texture, add a texture. Non texture 2D smoothless select. <coughs> that is tiny. Hold on. Oh god. Select. Let me just resize this. There we go. That's better. And let's find a grass texture. I will use this one, the original Unity grass texture, because I like it. And the normal will basically give it a 3D view. And since I've downloaded a lot of different textures, I will use this as a grass texture, probably this actually, or this, or this, or this, this one looks good, and add that, and there we go, as you can see, we've got a te ground texture, and it does look a little bit 3D, with the shadows, as if it's sticking out, okay, so now, what we're going to do, oh yeah, also you can move around using 
uh, the arrows and press shift to go faster. So we're going to press on this tool over here, set the height to 80, use this, make sure the brush size is the biggest, zoom out a little bit, and just make it 80 basically. It will not go higher than 80, there's a limit because you set it, so put it all up to 80. Okay, so now we will zoom in and add a few details and trees. So place trees, um, edit trees, add a tree, and now we're going to press this little circle here and choose which tree you would like, hmm, this one, add, and we've got it right here. There it is. Um, so now, the brush size, you should really put it down when it comes to trees. Just actually make it around this size. Tree density, make sure you put that down. Otherwise, if this, the tree density is too much, it will be spawning too much trees. If you want to delete this, press shift and then left click and it deletes it. So tree height, put it from there to there, basically, that, that, that's good. Okay, now use this tool, and using this tool over here, put the opacity to around 20, and just click in random places, maybe swipe a little bit, just to put up the terrain up a little bit, so it looks more realistic, because um, it can't all be flat, can it? Okay, um, yeah, that looks good, see, we put it up over here. Now, if you have places like this, try covering it up with trees, so you can't see the edge of the map. Alright, so to add more textures onto the field, you're going to press Edit Textures, Add a Texture, Select, and select your texture. So I will use... Okay, now use this tool over here to add grass and all that stuff, so press that on top and choose a grass texture, which I'll use the original Unity one, leave this as it is, add, now you'll have to zoom in in order to see it because it's pretty small, and yeah, it does add a lot of it, and this will really lag out your computer if you have a slow device, so, <coughs> What we'll do is opacity 0.1 <coughs> and target strength 0.05. There we go, that's better. Uh, Okay, now I will add my campfire, which is a prefab right here. Now, as you can see, the campfire is pretty small compared to all the trees, actually. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to add my um, skybox. Okay, so in order to change your sky box, go to window and actually add animation because we will use that later on. Then window. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, as you can see, the scene became a little bit, a little bit darker. Using the directional light, try changing the color. I will make my campfire a little bit bigger because it's pretty small. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now that we've got this, I will add more trees closer to me. Okay, so when you finish your design and everything, press on your camera, go game object and align with view. Now go to your game scene and this is how your game will look. You can see the grass moving a little bit by itself. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to make the trees move as well. So we're going to go create a wind zone. And in the scene, we will position the wind zone over here. So game object align with you. And there's a game, there's a wind zone over here. So now if you zoom in, uh, play the game, and you can see the grass move. And the trees move as well, and they move too much. So we're gonna play around with this, with the settings. So let's put mine to 0.5. Okay, I think these are the best settings for this. And now what we're gonna do we, with the camera for the main menu, we will make a little intro animation for the, for the, for the game, basically. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back to the scene. Just zoom out somewhere, like here for example, looks good, just put your, oh god, I zoomed in too fast. I'm gonna turn the lightning off for now. And now we will make the animation, so, main camera, let's make a new folder in the assets. So, right click, create folder, animations. Okay, now go to your animation, select main camera, create, choose the animations folder and name this uh, intro animation, main menu, main menu, intro animation. Okay, so on zero to, this has seconds basically, like 0 0.05 seconds, that's like half of a second here. <coughs> so on zero, uh, we will go to one, to, to one second, and it will move up to here. I'm trying to. There we go. Like here. So game object align with view, and now let's go game and just see how this looks. Okay, so on zero, I would like the camera, where is it? Using this tool, I will rotate the camera and put it down a little bit more, like so. So now, there we go, now we can see it turn and get up. And on two, Actually, let's go 130. I would like the camera to be here. Make sure it goes forwards a little bit. Get up, twist, and in here. Okay, so this is the main intro animation. And like, if we go to projects and animations, click on that, and do not loop it. So it's going to play only once. And the second animation we will make will be the repeating animation. So copy this frame over here, the last frame we've done, con Control C, then create new clip, main menu. 
repeat animation and paste using control V so it's on the same frame and now we can make a repeating animation so Okay, and basically co copy the first frame and put it to the last and this way it'll just look as if it's repeating all the time and yep okay press this to stop um, animating and now we gotta go onto this double click and we see this thing so we've got entry main intro animation then right click make a transition to the repeat animation and that's it now if we play the game we should be able to see it happening so one second um, go to project settings and quality and choose your quality so I will go to good because fantastic <coughs> would lag out if you recording double click on good and press game there we go we see the intro animation and it changes into this one and it will just repeat this animation over and over again there we go looks nice and we see the trees move on there and the grass move in some places and it looks good right okay so in the next video I will be showing how to make the main menu we will be coding it and it will look good yep I'll see you next in the next episode Bye.